Hi, Timothy Unkert here, and in this video, I'm going to demonstrate the void function without a function prototype. It should be noted that this method is maybe not as widely used, and if you're developing in C, you probably should get used to the method with the function prototype because other developers will use it. But here is another way to do it. So I've included my header file and I have my main function. And to use a function, a void function without a prototype, all we're going to do is we're going to go up here and create this function and it's called Dean and we're going to not pass anything into it. And all the function is going to do is it's going to print Dean is the coolest character on Supernatural. Which is a factual statement. And that's all that function is going to do. Okay, so now we're going to move down to our main. We're going to create an integer i. And we're going to create a for loop. And we're going to say for i equal to 0, i is less than 5, i, oops, lowercase i, plus plus. Uh, so what's going to happen is we're starting i at 0. We're going up until four because it's less than five and we increment one each time. So we should get five times through the loop and we're just going to call the Dean function. And once we're out of the loop for the main function, we're just going to return zero. Okay. I'm going to save it and now let's run it and it should run like in the previous video. All right. So let's just get this larger. Uh, so we're going to compile it. Let's compile it into void func uh, no proto. Okay, and then let's run it. And you see it runs, it prints five times. Dean is the coolest character on Supernatural. So that is another way to uh, write a function and run it or call it from the main function. And that way you can do it without a function prototype. But again, uh, the method of using the function prototype is probably a bit more popular. So you should also familiarize yourself with that method. Anyways, I hope you found this video interesting. If you did, please like, subscribe, and hit the bell for notifications as it really does help the channel grow. I want to thank you for watching. Uh, I hope you have a great day and I hope to see you in the next one. Bye.